It was to be the first chapter in Wycliffe Ondori and Matrin Munoz's love story, the first day of the rest of their lives together. But it's such a solemn mood in this compound in Nairobi's Riruta satellite that cements the reality of a wedding day tragedy, a reality that wedding bells would not be ringing here today. <laughs> A pain subdued under the solemn hymns of witnesses turned mourners crammed into this tiny one-roomed house that was Ondori's home. Each of them trying to relieve their last memories with him and the series of events that transpired over the last couple of hours that have quickly turned the excitement into anxious moments. This after news filtered through that Ondori had passed away on the eve of his wedding. According to the family, he had complained of severe headache but it remains unclear what exactly caused his death. Kujaribu kuvuta irisha nilipolifungua nikapenya ndani nikamuona kweli amejilaza. Kwa hivyo nilipoona kulikuwa na jiko hapo na juu yake <coughs> wameweka maharagwe nikajua ya kwamba kwa sababu ya athari ya ule moshi mfuke wa makaa na najua athari zake huenda umesababisha madhara. Inside the house, evidence of months of preparations for the big day still hangs on the walls. The 10th of December 2011 only left imprinted in their hearts and memories, but for a whole different reason. A few days prior to the wedding, Ondori had written down a memoir containing his whole life story since he breathed his first in Vihiga County, something that still remains a puzzle to the family as they try to answer questions as to the timing of his decision to tell his life story. Alipo pika chai, uh, yule ambaye ni fiancé wake akakuja, marehemu akatoa profile ambaye ilikuwa na mambo mengi ndani yake. Na nikasoma through ni nikamuuliza na sasa history yote unataka kusomea watu kwa harusi na akanijibu hiyo kuna mahali tulikuwa na brother Paul hiyo kuna mahali itasomwa ndivyo alinijibu At the Salvation Army Church in Kibera friends and family gathered outside to quietly mark a wedding shattered by the death of the main man inside only an empty hall and evidence of what was to be a vibrant ceremony remains evidence of a flowering love story one that now will never be told. What was to be a colorful day in this church compound, now drowned by the somber mood that engulfs the mourners gathered here to now ponder on the life of a groom whose day to the destiny was robbed just on the 11th hour. Sheila Sandeo, Citizen Weekend.